excited actually to go. I'm gonna get away from all this. Oxycontin abuser Troy Sweat is on his way to California for a radical detox treatment to cure his addiction. How are you gonna get from here to there in 12 hours and not use? I probably will use. We gave him a camera to record his experience. It's my sister. She's gonna be along for the whole journey. The long trip has multiple layovers, and Troy is risking arrest to stave off withdrawal. During one stop, while Amanda waits outside the men's room, Troy shoots some of his last pills. He needs that drug. It makes my skin curl. It doesn't make me feel good. Whatever I say isn't going to stop him. Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for landing, please adjust your seatbelt so they Finally, after 13 hours in transit, Troy arrived safely in Santa Ana. I am nervous, but I definitely have to go through with this. That's all you want is just initials and signature? Just seeing that he really wants to change makes me feel good inside. Nice to meet you. Nice Congratulations you. for coming. It's the Thank first you. step. Dr. Clifford Bernstein is the Institute's medical director. When's the last time you had any pills? Um, probably two and a half, three hours ago. Are you having any withdrawal now? Uh, a little bit. The going is easy at first. Those are the track marks. Troy is hooked to a morphine drip to keep him stable. A little pinch. Troy Sweat is a very typical patient that we treat. If he doesn't get his opiates, he'll get very sick. After that, he'll crave these drugs. It's a physical phenomenon. Illicit demand for the drug has created an Oxycontin crime wave. Prescription holders have been assaulted. Addicts have faked pain to get prescriptions. And around the country, there have been more than 700 pharmacy robberies like this one in Boston. Where a rash of robberies prompted two big chains to pull OxyContin off the shelves. According to police, he gives a note to the pharmacist telling them to hand over all their OxyContin. You've got to either steal or deal. Out in eastern Maine's Washington County, Sheriff Joe Tibbetts is confronting a social crisis. We're on the siege with it. Just the same as, as, as the country's under siege with terrorism, we're on the siege right here right now with synthetic opiates. I'm worried about the opiates right now. We need help, and we need it now. Probably 60 to 80 percent of the people we have in jail are addicts. The sheriff's community has been torn apart by OxyContin-related crimes. I'm headed in the, towards the jail now. Ranging from bounce checks to breaking and entering. I was going into houses everywhere. 19-year-old Adam Bellier stole to feed his habit. After a while, it was nothing to me. Nothing at all. He is now serving time for armed robbery. Ballpark figure, I'm going to say 80 houses, maybe even 100. It's really sad. That's why Melissa has asked us not to reveal her last name and why her husband, Frank... Is the back one closed? Locks up the whole house every time he leaves her at home. Doors we used to leave unlocked, we keep locked now. I always go to the pharmacy with her now. When Frank goes with Melissa to get her prescription filled... Any questions tonight? No, ma'am. Thank you for filling that for me. It feels like an armored car delivery. He follows me in a separate vehicle, and he's looking for anybody, A, who would harm me in the parking lot, or B, that somebody's following me to my home. You don't want somebody to know where to go and get it whenever they want it. She has a uh, perfectly good reason to be scared. We look for that kind of thing. We hang out around the pharmacy. I'd rather be paranoid and alive than cocky and dead. Troy Sweat never robbed anyone, and he is trying to change. I miss my mom. I don't miss my friends. I don't miss pills. Can't wait to be sober. Out in California, Troy spent the night without OxyContin for the first time in years. I didn't wake up and do a pill this morning, so I kind of feel weird. Do you want to have a bite of your breakfast? As he prepares for his treatment, reality sets in. I'm afraid of going without. I'm afraid that it's going to be a little bit harder than everybody thinks it is. He sees now, I think, that it's not going to be just a piece of cake. What can you say about your sister? She's with you. It makes me feel really good to know I have somebody that will at least come with me and be with me. When you're talking to him about me, you can see that he's almost ready to cry. This is the best chance Troy will ever have. 
That's later on 48 Hours. We're actually going to run morphine the whole time you're here. To the Weissman Institute for Opiate Dependence in California. Hope this works. Troy Sweat is hoping to end his relationship with OxyContin. It's kind of like being with somebody for four or five years and you now saying goodbye. It's been an unhealthy relationship. Troy's body now craves opiates. That craving is very real. I feel like there's something missing, you know what I mean? An Oxycontin pill, that Oxycontin pill, I have to have it. To cure Troy... Ten seconds. Dr. Clifford Bernstein is about to begin a controversial detoxification process called the Weissman Method. The Weissman Method treats opiate dependence, and yes, it is a disease. It's a disease of the central nervous system. Troy's body will be given a drug called naltrexone. It will both remove the Oxycontin from his brain and block his cravings for opiates, triggering a rapid withdrawal. It's going to be uncomfortable, and that's why we put him to sleep. And when he starts to go through his withdrawal, he won't feel pain. Right now, Troy is being injected with drugs that are literally cleansing his brain of opiates. This is the best chance Troy will ever have. But critics charge, without extensive therapy, this is just a quick fix. The critics say you're not dealing with the uh, psychological problems of dependency or addiction. Our one-month success rate is something like 90, 90 to 95 percent. Though some experts say there is no proven long-term effectiveness. I'm doing my job. People walk out of here, their withdrawal is finished, and they're not craving. 100 watts. In Maine's opiate-infested Washington County, the alternative is much worse. We basically have got no detoxification thing at all. This is our detoxification. Sheriff Joe Tibbetts says addicts have only one option for getting clean. They just go cold turkey in the cell there. That's our rehab. And, it, and, it, and that is scary as hell, too. It really is scary.